everyone, so today I'm back to share with you my favorite cleaning products at the moment. Actually, these products have been my favorite for a while, so they're not just like my favorites of the month or anything like that. It's just been such a long road to switch from harsher like detergents that are have a lot of chemicals and aren't good for you or the environment, but they actually clean well because they're so toxic and strong. And it's just been kind of a big process and long process, honestly, to go from the typical standard uh, detergents to just greener and healthier for you. Um, because we do breathe this in when we're cleaning. It's not just for the environment. I know a lot of people say, who cares, it's just laundry detergent, but anything that you touch and like that you breathe, you know, it's not good for you if it's if it has a lot of chemicals. So it's been a while. I've had to test a lot of green products that I just couldn't keep or I couldn't make it work because, you know, at this point we're so lucky to have so many green products on the market that we can be picky and we can actually find something that works just as well, if not better, than the typical standard cleaning product that has so many chemicals. After testing for so long, I finally broke it down to my favorites and the only product I am missing is um, glass cleaner. So I'm looking into replacing my Windex and honestly I think that's going to be one of the easiest ones. The only reason why I haven't yet is because I still have like a big gallon of Windex that I'm trying to like finish off but that's the only reason why I'm almost sure like I'm pretty much decided on the one I'm going to get after that one runs out um, and that's going to be one of the easiest ones to replace. But the other ones I have to say we're kind of tricky. So let's go ahead and get started into the video. I will explain to you why I like the products and hopefully this will inspire you to clean out your kitchen, clean out your cleaning products. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Right, so if you just saw my Vitacost haul that I posted, um, you would have seen the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day multi-surface concentrate, which I compared to my Mr. Clean. So this came to replace my Mr. Clean because I like cleaning with water a lot. I feel like um, sometimes you can get away with sprays and which with a microfiber or like even a paper towel. You can get away with that sometimes. But for areas that are very dusty, I think water just cleans better because it doesn't let the dust lift. It just kind of, I don't know. I don't know if it's psychological, but I feel like it's a better cleaning method for some things. So I definitely wanted a Mr. Cleaning replacement and I've tried a couple and I have to say that this is the winner and not only does it clean just as well, I think it cleans better. I've said this in my other video, uh, the scent lingers around so it's not like the Mr. Clean that leaves it, you'll smell it for an hour or two and then it dissipates. This actually stays for like a day or two. Um, if you have the room fresheners by this line, it feels like you sprayed a bunch around the house, but not in a bad way. It's not too strong. Um, it cleans very well. It's very concentrated. This will get you through a while. Um, like on my floors, I'll add a gallon of water and just add a tiny little bit and you'll see, you know, the foaming and it just cleans wonderfully. Even the kitchen floor, certain areas under the sink, even with Mr. Clean, I used to have to scrub so much harder and this just cleans it so well. I love the smell, love how it cleans. It's definitely a Mr. Clean replacement. So, and next I also mentioned this in my Vitacost haul because you know, this was a new one and it's the bathroom cleaner uh, by Method. And I feel like Method and Mrs. Myers are, I think they're one of my favorite clean green product companies. Um, for cleaning in general, I mean, I know they have other products, but for detergents, they're definitely one of my, the, on the top list. I seem to be more attracted to them, you know, and just be happier with their performance. But this one is a great bathroom cleaner. Um, this is great for your sinks, uh, even for the toilet seat, for your um, bathtub. It does get rid of mildew. Um, now, I do upkeep my bathtub really, you know, like daily. I kind of spray it with vinegar um, and rinse it out. You know, I squeegee, like I have a squeegee to like get rid of the water. So I don't, I take care of my bathtub um, so I don't let a lot of mold accumulate. 
but once a week then I clean it with this, I deep clean it with this and it seems to work. Everything looks clean and there's no mildew. Um, it's very, I mean it's experiment, so it's very um, fresh, it's like so different. This came to replace my like, Clorox. Um, I used to use a Clorox bleach spray um, and that's what I would spray and sometimes I, after being in the bathroom for 30 minutes scrubbing my bathtub and like everything else, um, I would feel so sick, I would have such a bad headache, and I would cough, and all the signs that really tell you that can't be good for you. So this came to replace that, I feel like it's gentle, it doesn't harm me, but it cleans just as well. And it does kill bacteria. I know a lot of you sometimes ask me, okay, they're green, but do they kill bacteria? Yes, this kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. Now another product by Method, um, and by the way, I love these bottles. I've you know I've used a couple of Method spray bottles, so sometimes what I do is like I'll rinse them out and like refill them with something else, like not food but detergents. Like I'll have something concentrated, even um, this you can put a little bit into it and then add water, and then that makes your kitchen counter spray, for instance. Um, but I just love it. They're so much nicer than the typical you know, standard like detergent bottles like Windex and Clorox. Those are like just like long and this is just a lot more elegant. I really like it. Um, but anyway, this is a wood cleaner. It says it cleans and dusts. It's based um, on almond and it does smell like it. It cleans grease, grime, and leaves a light shine. So this is pretty much um, I would say a pledge replacement. You know, if you know the good old pledge, the yellow spray that leaves your wood and your furniture very shiny. Now with that shine, it kind of, it kind of leaves a residue on it, which I really didn't like to begin with because you clean, it looks shiny and great for like five minutes, but then if you, you know, touch it, then your fingerprints are left on it and then it actually looks just as bad, it looks dirty. This, however, it does dust, it does a great job, and it leaves the room smelling so good. I love this almond scent. Um, but it only leaves like a tiny little shine. You can, it's all barely there, you can't even notice it, but it, it leaves the wood more so hydrated than shiny. So I really like it. This is definitely a great replacement for a pledge or any wood cleaner. Next, I also have the Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Laundry Detergent. And this is the scent Geranium. Um, I only try the scent for laundry detergent, but, but I like it so much that I kind of want to try the room freshener and other things by them. Um, and as you see, the trend. I love this brand. I love Method. Um, this lasts you such a long time. You might think that it's like small and expensive, but it's 64 fluid ounces, but the, it's very concentrated. So it gives you 64 loads per bottle. So even though I think, I don't, I'm not sure how much this costs, but I know I did the math and it's, I used to use Tide, which is, you know, your standard like higher end detergent. Everyone swears by Tide and I used to love it, but it's expensive and this is definitely not as expensive and it's green and it cleans so well. Like this little cap, you're supposed to fill it up with half. That's how much you use on a regular load of laundry, but then they recommend using three-fourths, if like a little bit more, if it's an extra large or like very dirty load. But definitely recommend it. I've had this for such a long time and it's like down to here, and I already have uh, the same one, but I got the lemon verbena scent because I love that scent so much. But yeah, it lasts you such a long time and I really recommend this and this has been my green laundry detergent for a while. All right, so another Mrs. Meyers clean day, uh, room freshener, lemon verbena scent, <laughs> as always. Um, I just love this. I keep this in my powder room uh, downstairs where like the visitors come. Um, we use it obviously, but it, this is definitely the bathroom that our friends use when they come over. And everyone comments on how well the house smells. And it's funny because the bathroom will smell more like this because that's where we're spraying it, but it kind of dissipates into like the laundry room, into like the rooms around it. Um, and sometimes I'll just grab it and spray my um, couches with this. It just smells so good. It's so light. It has such a, a green and clean scent. I love it. 
and let me see this has been lasting me a while but it's also like my third yeah because I keep them in every bathroom I also keep it where the cat litter is every time I clean my litter because um, I, I clean it like so often because I don't want it to smell bad um, then I spray it afterwards it's like my little step routine when I clean the litter so if you have cats and animals or dogs definitely recommend this because it doesn't I feel like Fabrice again smells good for a little bit but then it just smells like bad smell mixed with good smell and it's not a good smell mixed in so definitely recommend this I just leaves it very like a nice pleasant scent so next I have something very exciting to me I've been wanting to share this with you even before I thought about filming this type of video um, I just knew I had to share it because it was such a big surprise and it's just dish detergent and dish soap but it makes it very exciting to me because I thought I had found my like typical Dawn replacement but then after trying this and I almost tried it by accident I'm like sold and I think everyone should know about it and yeah so that's why I'm sharing it it's the Kirkland signature premium liquid dish soap environmentally responsible it's the citrus scent and this is a very big container it's very concentrated and I'm gonna tell you why I like it I was using the seventh generation before which was fine it did a good job but then one day, I don't know why, and it's not like they had a coupon, sometimes I try things when they have like offers and stuff, but it wasn't even one of those days. I just looked at it and I was like, oh, I'm going to try it. I think this was like $6 for uh, 1.5 gallons, um, and I was like, I'm just going to give it a try. And then I got home, and I have one of those uh, dish soap dispensers, so I added it into it, and... Then like I kind of forgot about it and then I was when I went to do dishes, I was like, oh my god, it smells so good. And I completely forgot about the new dish soap. It didn't have a typical dish soap smell. It had more of a just laundry detergent smell. It was just like, I don't know. It smelled like those, is it Dawn that makes those little balls that you can melt on a candle holder, but they're actually made to go into your laundry. They say like the scent lasts up to 12 weeks in your clothes you know what I mean like those little balls that you see all over Pinterest I, it smelled like that and I like didn't associate it to the dish soap at all and then finally I'm like this is the dish soap it smells so good and I love how it lathers it lathers so much more than other green you know soaps that I've tried definitely lathers more than, than the seven generation one it lathers just as your like typical dawn would lather you only need a little bit and it lathers so much it cleans so well it cuts through the grease I just wash dishes like I would with another standard detergent and you don't even notice that it's green or anything all right so I'm almost done I hope I'm not boring you with this cleaning conversation um, but I only have two more products so I think you've seen this on my channel instead of getting the Bath and Body Works uh, soaps for the bathrooms. I've switched to Method um, and instead of buying the individual ones at Target and stuff, uh, which I think Vitacost sells as well, I just feel like it's more environmentally responsible to get these because I'm actually refilling the Bath and Body Works um, containers that I still have. So from the outside it actually looks like I bought a new Bath and Body container, which is not like on purpose, but <laughs> that's the one that I'm using. Um, and then I just refill it and I like this one. I think the scent is my favorite. It's the pink grapefruit. Um, you can refill this, it says three times or 2.8 to be exact bottles of these. I don't know, it lasts a long time and it comes out to be so cheap because you're, you know, you're getting this in this pack. Then you just take out the lid, unscrew it and just refill it. Um, it has different kinds of scents but I think this is my favorite one. Um, it has vitamin E and aloe, which makes it moisturizing so it's not drying on your skin. And yeah, so this is all I've been using for months and months. And I really stopped. It cuts back on the cost too because those individual ones, you know, they add up and they get pricey. So I feel like there's no need. If you have like a nice soap that does its job, clean, smells well, then you don't need to go all fancy. Um, and then if you're one of those people that like to buy the... Um, fancy porcelain 
dispensers, then you don't even see what kind of product it is. So yeah, I really recommend that. My last product, and you probably have seen this like a lot on my channel because I think it's been over a year that I've been using this. I've switched to the Ecover um, dishwasher tablets like for a while now and I really really like them. I'm bummed that the price seems to go up and up and up. When I started using these, they must have been not popular. Maybe it was a new company. Um, I don't know. Maybe, I, I don't know what happened. But I remember buying this box for $2.99 and now Last time I got it, it was like six something, I think, which is still cheap because it gives you, um, I think, 25 tablets. That's still cheap, but it's just crazy to me because I remember it went from $2.99, then I remember at one point it was like three something, then I remember at one point it was four something, and now it's like six. So I don't know, I guess they weren't as popular, and now that people picked up on how good they are, they're able to do that which you know I'm fine with because they do do a good job and they're not more expensive than your standard ones. So this is what they look like. I usually open it like this and I just sit it like this under my kitchen counter and this is what they look like. And they do the job. My dishes come out very shiny and clean. I don't notice any difference from the other detergents I was using. It always freaked me out. Um, the fact that you the fact that you eat and like drinks out of out of cups and like I mean yeah like it gets rinsed out but does it really get totally rinsed out like all those chemicals from your soap um, I really don't think so so it makes me feel much better to use something more natural and if there's any residue left on the dishes that I'm eating from then I don't have to worry about it so yeah I really recommend that and I think that was it I will leave all the links to all these products down below so if you're interested in checking out any of these products in particular everything will be down below um, let me know if you tried any of these products yourself let me know if you have any recommendations for me um, I'm very happy with all of these for now like it took me such a while to just find a good combo you know you get stuck for so many years using using the standard detergents that it's so hard to switch like for the first couple of months of trying things out and switching I felt like my house wasn't cleaned because some products weren't doing a great job then part of me I was still stuck in that idea that if it doesn't smell strong it does it means it doesn't clean well so it took a lot of testing and like getting used to things but finally think I have the perfect combo and you know I'm really happy with the switch so far so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to let me know what other videos you want to see from me. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like the video. It really helps me and I really appreciate all your feedback. And I think that's it. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.